Hello, how are we all doing? Um, I'll get straight into it. Uh, Rishi Sunak has scaled back on the net zero timeline. Um, he, he doesn't want to be quite as harsh anymore. Um, interestingly, I saw a thing with Liz Truss uh, the other day, video footage, saying, you know, we, we want to take the people with us. If we're doing this too quickly, we, you know, we want to take the people with us. We don't want to upset the people, that sort of thing. Um, no one asked to be taken anywhere, as far as I know. <laughs> but really, they've, they've already, until they're getting rid of, uh, until they're getting rid of petrol and diesel cars, it's already dropped back to 2050 or something. Something's dropped back to 2050 anyway. So now Rishi Sunak's saying 2035 or whatever. Right, um, <laughs> I've, I've lost track completely, I don't know what for. Uh, so so one thing, first thing is that ministers like 10 year plans because they're very rarely around when they finish and aren't completed and then there's no one to blame. Um, secondly, there's an election coming up in case you'd forgotten. So that'll be next year. Uh, so certainly probably within nine months uh, and they, they, I think the Tory party have twigged that they might be losing voters mm. <laughs> so they've, <laughs> they've scaled back on net zero um, where does anyone think electricity comes from I mean it's not net zero is it you're, you're still using energy uh, if they had any sort of genuine desire to stop the energy use or to decrease the energy use, they would go around, they would fund solar panels on house roofs wherever possible across the UK. They wouldn't be inventing wind farms and giving concessions to electric cars and, and whatever else they're doing because those are all sort of new things aren't they they're, they're just sort of creeping in really without your consent they're, they're just sort of ongoing what, I mean what do we have now we have houses with roofs upon which solar panels can be put <laughs> and, and watch the energy uses just go because of that big yellow thing in the sky I know we don't see it much these days but that big yellow thing in the sky called the sun which just like generates like millions of electricity yeah and we can trap that energy in the solar panels and we can use the panels and we can use it to power our washing machines and our cookers and our TVs and all the rest of it but they won't do that because that dents their energy bosses makes profits doesn't it mm. and we can't have the the energy bosses makes profits who you know kind of secretly run parliament because they're the ones that give all the money to all the political parties really uh, we can't have their profits entered because then they'd stop giving money to the political parties and, and people like Rishi wouldn't be able to pay himself 150 grand a year and whatever else is, you know it's, this is worse than the Ukraine war actually this is worse than coronavirus because I tell you what, it might have only just started, but this is going to go on for years until they drop it. And this is largely why I stopped listening to mainstream media, really, um, except perhaps on the weekends. So, yeah, wow, more lies from Rishi in the hope you'll vote for a guy who married his money and then wants you to pay more taxes to fill the economic hole which he created. <laughs> It is just, I, the, the world cannot get any sunnier. <laughs>